Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me for our February 2020 tarot reading. And this tarot reading is going to be for the sign of Leo. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message you need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. At the beginning of the month, I'm going to take a card from the top. Middle of the month, I'll take a card from the center. And the end of the month, I'm going to take a card from the bottom. Okay, wow, this is very interesting. So, I hope you can see the cards here. This card here, we start out the beginning of the month with the Eight of Cups. You're walking away, okay? You know, Leos aren't quitters, but they're smart enough and intelligent enough to know when they've they've invested enough time and energy in something that they're just not satisfied with anymore, okay? You're dissatisfied with something, okay? You might not know exactly what you're moving on to, okay? But you just know that you're done, okay? This could be with the job. This could be, you know, with a relationship, a family member, whatever it is that's brought you dissatisfaction and that you're disappointed with, you're pursuing a new path, a new direction in the beginning of this month, okay? So you're not going to stay in a situation that no longer fulfills you. I mean, you're a Leo. You're the king of the jungle, the lioness of the jungle. Believe me, you have what it takes. A lot of Leos have star qualities that are very famous people that really make it big because they don't stick in a stagnant situation. They got plans. They know just how to accomplish whatever they set their mind to. They're, they're very fiery and very, how could I say, driven people that, you know, they know how to get things done. So right now, you're going to have to accept that whatever did not work out, that you walk away from it, okay? We all face these disappointments in life. We're not going to stay stuck. This is something that I feel has held you back for a long, long time. Like I said, it could be a friend, family member, lover, spouse, partner, job. It's, it's an emotional. It had an emotional grip on you because the cups are the emotions and the moon as well, where, where things are just uncertain and you're just, you've had it. You've just had it and you're not looking back. Okay. And you're finally moving on here. And then in the middle of the month, we have the 10 of swords and 10 of swords. Okay. Could literally be somebody stabbing you in the back. This poor person is laying on the ground. He has these swords in his back. There's swords in his arm. There's a sword above his head. This is you're finding out maybe somebody has been gossiping about you, talking behind your back, okay? It could have been someone you had that gut feeling about, but you just didn't trust it. You didn't want to maybe believe it because we want to believe in the good in others, but, you know, not everybody's holier than thou. <laughs> Sometimes we give people a lot more credit and a lot more respect than they deserve. And whoever, whatever this is, this means this bad situation, whatever was going on, is finally over because 10 is the number of completion. So whatever this backstabbing is, has brought this situation to an end, okay? And as painful as it may seem, okay, with this loss, it's a good thing because now maybe you know where you stand with someone, okay? Finally, a difficult situation is ending and, and maybe it's because you walked away, okay? And, and now this person or these people are talking about you that, you know, how dare they just walk away from this and, you know, because people want to keep you down. But you know what? You've had enough. You've had enough here. You're pursuing a new path. Now you know where you stand. You're, you're going to move on from this disappointment. Um, this might have been something that was going on for quite a long time. Okay. I don't believe that this is something that might have just happened this month or suddenly. This might have been finding out gossip and little bits and pieces of people who betrayed you. Okay. But now it's out in the open and now you know what to do. You just leave them behind. Because by the end of the month, you're not going to be sitting around crying. <laughs> you have that beautiful 10 of cups to look forward to. I mean, this is the card of a beautiful, happy life feeling fulfilled, feeling content. And you know why I think this is happening? Because you finally left these idiots behind. 
Okay, when we finally get the gossipers and the backstabbers and the people that are not for high school out of our life and we, we put out the trash and we remove all the toxicity, this is when the positive energy comes in. Okay, the cups are a, a feeling, you know, of your emotions. Okay, and this ten of cups is having you feel stability in your love life, stability in your home life. Um, maybe a, a lasting relationship that you feel stable in finally. You're feeling very content and has a very emotional, loving overtone to it, this card. So I'm thinking that you, you got rid of all of those who tried to hold you back and you're finally finding that happiness that you deserve. And it's so hard because, you know, with disappointment, okay, comes this beautiful feeling of love and contentment but you got to let go of these people or these things, you know, and, and whatever was holding you back. Because look at this. I mean, you can't get any better than this. Okay. This symbolizes, you know, a, a committed relationship. Somebody that's going to be in your life for quite a long time. It's not something that's trivial. It's not like a fly-by-night thing. So it, it's a beautiful, beautiful card. Okay, you're feeling very, very happy, very stable emotionally after a rough ride here. What a beautiful, beautiful way to end the month. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe to my channel because I will be back with more.